Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this week's celebration assembly here at Sherburn Hungate. We have got a treat for you this week. Look out for a special appearance from Mrs. Walker towards the end, but take it away, nursery, because it's over to you for our first certificate. Hello, and welcome to Nursery Celebration Assembly. Uh, this week, I've chosen two children from in nursery who have been showing me that even at the end of term, when they're getting tired and they're getting ready for their holiday, they are still trying and being very active and listening and watching what's going on and being a good friend to other children. So, my first one is to the Head Teacher Award, and I've given it to Elias. Because I've noticed that since Elias has come back to nursery, he's really wanting to do things for himself and saying, no, I'll do it and I'll have a go and it's my turn and I can do it, which is a really lovely attitude to have, Elias. And let's hope you carry that through to September when you're in reception. Uh, and the other little girl I've chosen is Alicia, because Alicia is being a good friend at the moment, especially to Charlie and Ivy and a few of the others, she's being really kind, really thoughtful and really sharing with them and letting them join in with her play. So it's really good to see that. Well done, Alicia. OK, so last week, next week. So take care and I'll see you next Friday. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all OK and you've had a lovely week. We've had a wonderful week in reception. We've been learning all about mini beasts. It's been super interesting. We went on bug hunts. We had a go at drawing some mini beasts. We did some reading. It was loads of fun and I'm so proud of all the work reception produced. Now my head teacher's award this week goes to a young man who's really impressed myself and Mrs Horsfield with his reading. He read some super sentences about mini beasts. I'm really impressed by how you've stepped up and put lots of contributions on Dojo. Well done, Benjamin Black. What a superstar. Okay, my shining star this week goes to a young lady who's really impressed Mrs Everett with her reading. She's made it to stage five on her reading books. We couldn't be prouder of you. I couldn't believe it when Mrs Everett told me what stage you're on now. Well done, Lana Appleyard. What a superstar. Hi everybody and hello year one. Uh, well done again for another fantastic week. Um, we are so close to the end of term but you carry on being absolute superstars and I am really really proud of you so well done for that. I'm going to start with my head teachers award today. Um, this goes to somebody who has impressed me through the whole of lockdown really. Um, he has already won an award before um, but he has just continued to be fantastic throughout the whole of our online learning. So I'm really, really impressed. And in particularly, we did our um, Make a Famous Landmark. We did that on Monday to this week and he made a Roman Colosseum and it was fantastic. Mr. Skelly and Miss Smith, you need to go and check it out. Um, it was made out of a milk bottle and it was just fantastic. So my head teacher's award this week goes to Ashton Russell. So Ashton, well done. Really, really impressive work. And onto my Shining Star Award. It actually goes to two people. I spoke to Mr. Kelly and Miss Smith and they just couldn't split these two apart. They've been so impressed with their attitude and their behaviour and just everything this week, um, especially when it comes to thinking about past tense and present tense things, whether you ran yesterday or you are running now, and um, we're, they're just really, really impressed. So I love hearing about that. Well done, boys. Keep it up. My two shining stars this week go to Sam Herring, and Bentley Mason. Well done, boys. Really, really proud of you. Keep up that hard work for the last week. Well done, year one. I can't wait to see what you get up to next week. Bye. Hi, year two. We've had another really good week and I'm really excited to give out some more certificates this week. My shining stars this week, I couldn't pick one, so I've picked two. These two children have just been so consistent throughout the whole of their home learning. They're not just doing what I've been set, they're doing other things and they are learning every day. So I'm super, super impressed and proud of Ruben and Emily. Well done, you two. My head teacher's award this week goes to another young man who is just so consistent with his learning. He's busy all day, every day, and he's doing so much at home to keep his learning going. 
and keep himself busy. So a really good job, Joseph. Well done. Hi everybody. Well, it's the end of yet again, another really busy week. Um, the person I've chosen for my head teacher award this week is somebody who has been super busy the whole of lockdown. Um, this member of our class has always completed all of the tasks that I've put on Class Dojo, but she hasn't just completed them, she's done them to a really high standard um, and I never fail to be impressed with how hard she works. So my Head Teachers Award this week goes to Isla. Well done Isla, you are a superstar. And onto my Shining Star Certificate. The person that I've chosen to receive this certificate again is a really hard worker, has completed lots of the tasks that I've put on Class Dojo. Um, a few pieces of work that she has done really stick in my mind. One from last week when we were looking at areas around the world and she did an amazing model of a landmark. It's quite an unusual landmark in that I think a lot of people may not have heard of it before and it was the Barclay Memorial in St Kitts. So I would like to award the Shining Star Certificate to Antonia. Brilliant effort, Antonia. Well done. Hello everyone. It's been another fantastic week. Lots of great work that you've been posting online. Um, but we'll get down to it. The Head Teachers Award this week goes to somebody for producing an amazing nature presentation. Uh, and those are the words from Mrs. Sterry. Uh, and that person is... Charlie, well done Charlie. I'd just like to say that he has produced amazing work throughout the entire year and he's put in so much effort, that's well deserved. Well done Charlie. And our Shining Star Award this week goes to someone who is continually trying to improve their work, trying to improve um, the knowledge that they've got um, and I'm really proud of the progress she's made this year and that person is Autumn. Well done Autumn. Hello everybody. I'm here in school enjoying teaching the year ones, but I'm really missing my year five class. But I'm delighted to announce some certificate winners from last week and this week. Last week, year five were awesome during the round the world topic. We learned about North and South America. And this week we've been reminiscing and remembering our favorite memories from the year five and also been recapping some of our topics, including World War II, space and the underwater topic as well. So I've chosen three winners for the Shining Star Award certificate first, who have consistently produced excellent work and all of the year five team have been really impressed with them. So well done for Shining Star Award winners, Bella, Zach and Josh. Three certificate winners, well done. And I've also chosen three winners for the Head Teachers Award showing outstanding behaviour and effort at home, recognising your hard work. I've chosen the three M's. We've got Mary, Marley and Megan. So well done to you three. Head Teachers Award Certificate. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. See you next week. Bye. This week's Shining Star Award goes to a young girl in our class for producing some excellent work. This girl has put lots of thought and effort into every single piece of her work that we've set on Google Classroom and we couldn't ask for any more. She's also gone on to produce some wonderful street artwork, which was part of our art and design task this week. Well done, Ashley Harland. Head Teachers Award goes to a young boy in our class for learning to manage his emotions maturely and keeping his great sense of humour. This young boy has been working extremely hard recently and he has shown us just how much grit and determination he really does have. Congratulations, Ronan Walters. Congratulations to all our certificate winners this week and to all our notable mentions, but also to everybody else who's taken part in Home Learning at Home as well. You've done a fantastic. Right, moving on now. Mrs. Walker is going to introduce our Beat the Teacher Week. Take it over, take it away, Mrs. Walker. Hi, everybody. I come to you with some exciting news for next week. Um, now, one of my favourite days of the year in summer term is Sports Day. So myself and the rest of the teachers have been thinking hard about how we can do some sort of virtual Sports Day. 
Um, we've come up with a fun idea which we think you will really enjoy. We are going to see if you, well, we're going to challenge you to see if you can beat the teachers. So on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week, you'll need to get yourself on Dojo and have a look at the tasks that you have been set, the activity you have been set, and then have a look at the teacher leaderboard. And we want you to see if you can challenge yourself to beat some or even all of the teachers at that activity. We can't wait to see what you get up to and to see if you can beat any of us. Um, have a great weekend and remember Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, beat the teacher competition. Bye. So that's it for our celebration assembly this week, guys. Have a lovely weekend and we look forward to seeing you doing some great learning on Monday. Bye bye for now.